In today's tutorial, we're going to be building a brand new Nux3 project and using Tailwind CSS3 in it. So in a previous tutorial, I walked you through some of the reasons why I wanted to move my personal website over to Nux3, along with a little bit of a getting started guide on how to create your first Nux3 app. So this is really the next progression in the series. I'm just going to keep creating a lot of videos like this that kind of walk you through some of the features and how I'm moving my website over to it. So if you want, the uh, GitHub repository will be linked in the description below. You could either just clone this, fork it, make changes to it, or you can go ahead and follow along with the steps that are here in the readme in case you want to create your own project. So here we are in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to open up a terminal. And let's go ahead and jump into Dev. Next, this is a folder where I'm going to create this project. So the first step says uh, we're going to run this command npx nuxy, which is the nux3 CLI. We're going to run the init command and then the name of the project that we want to create. So I'm here in the nux folder. Um, I want to, let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger. Um, I want to go ahead and create a project called Hello Tailwind 3. So that'll create that folder for me. So let's go ahead and say npx nuxy init hello tailwind 3. And the first thing you'll notice is it's extremely fast. Pretty cool there that that is so fast. The, the reason behind that is it doesn't actually create a whole lot of things for you. Uh, which I really appreciate. It kind of gives you a minimal installation and you can kind of just build on that. So it says here um, you, that you want to CD into that. Um, so that's a good first step. We're going to go ahead and uh, not run npm install right now because we're going to install a couple things. So let me clear this up again. So the next thing we're going to do is install Tailwind CSS as a development dependency. So if I come back over here and say npm install, you can also say i dash d tailwind CSS. So that's going to go ahead and install, go ahead and install tailwind CSS as a development dependency. Next, what we'll need to do is we'll create our tailwind.config.js. Um, and what we'll do is to do that, we'll go ahead and run uh, npx tailwind css init. And you can see it created that config file for us. So we're going to get out of here for now. Uh, we'll take a look at the project structure. We are not in that folder. So let's go back to dev and next and hello tailwind3. And so you see, as I said before, there's a very minimal project structure, which I really appreciate. Uh, there's not a lot going on here. Uh, we did um, install those dependencies. Uh, we have an app.view. We have our package.json. And now we have a tailwind.config.js. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to go ahead and knock this down just one if that's OK. So here in our contents section, we want to add all of the paths to any of our templates under this content array. So what we're going to do is just copy this, and we'll talk about it. So when we create a Nuxt3 app, we don't have any of these folders here. But as we start to build our application, we'll have things like components and layouts and pages and plugins. So what we're doing here is we're saying, hey, these are the, these are the, the paths to all of our templates. And today, what we're just going to use is the pages, but it will look in pages and it will look for any view file. And that will be part of um, what we really are worried about when we're using Tailwind CSS. The next thing we need to do is create a new file called assets CSS tailwind.css and add these three directives. So I'm going to go ahead and add these. Oops. So we have a CSS folder, tailwind.css, and we're just going to paste these in. 
Okay, so the next thing is we need to open up Nuxt config. And in here, let's go ahead and paste this and we'll just talk about this for a second. So this is going to add something to the build step. It's gonna add post CSS. Uh, this is a big step for Tailwind. Uh, Tailwind includes a whole bunch of CSS utility classes and we don't wanna ship all of those in our final um, production build. And so what post CSS does is it will help us go through and kind of just say, all right, I only want you to grab all of the utility classes that we're actually using in our application. So this is part of that build process. Now in dev, we ship the whole thing because we don't care, we're just local. And then this CSS um, array, this is something you can add um, either a whole module or just a CSS file. But what we're doing here in um, Nuxt is we are saying that, hey, this is a CSS file that we want to include in all of our pages. So now we don't have to actually import it in our pages, which is going to be really great. All right, so now we're ready to start building out some templates. So here it says to go ahead and remove the app.view. So we're gonna remove app.view. And what we're gonna do is create a new directory called pages. And again, if this is kind of new to you, uh, please go ahead and check out a previous video where I talked about getting started with Nux3. We kind of walk through all the, the kind of basics of building a Nux3 application. So here is an index.view. And I'm just gonna paste this template in here that has a little bit of Tailwind on it. So on the main outside wrapper, it has a container. Um, it has, it's setting the uh, X axis uh, margins to auto. Uh, so we'll kind of get that uh, centered div, if you will. Um, and we're setting the background to a gray of 300 and some padding. And then we're just adding a uh, H1 class here that says hello tailwind three. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and, and run npm run dev. And wow, that starts up really fast. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click and there we are. So there's our tailwind, our utility classes are working. We have that kind of gray background and the bold text here. So I wanna look at one more option I'm a big fan of Tailwind UI. So if you've never seen Tailwind, Tailwind UI, uh, there are a bunch of components that you can kind of drop into a page and it has code for say Vue and React and HTML. And I picked out this one because they have some examples on the website that are free that you can grab. So the code for this is here. So what I wanna do is just head into, let's go back to the documentation. Um, oh yeah, so for one more, uh, for this to work, we're gonna need to install one more dependency. So I'm gonna go ahead and run npm install hero icons, uh, which is a cool icon set uh, from the team at Tailwind. So now that that's installed, we're gonna create a page called uh, features.view. And let's copy this. And we'll walk through this code really quickly, just some boilerplate code, but pretty cool to see. So if we say features.view, again, we don't need to import Tailwind here because we've set that up in our Nux config, so it'll be imported into every page for us. Um, so the, again, this is the code I just copied from the Tailwind website. It does import some icons from that hero icons package. And then it sets up an array of features and inside of there, there's a name, a description and an icon. And all we're gonna do is return features back up to our template. And then we're going to uh, iterate over those uh, here using the V4 directive. So that's all there is to this. If we go ahead and run npm run dev and head back to our site. And now we go to slash features you could see our cool little landing page. So we can see that Tailwind's working, Tailwind UI's working, um, and honestly not a whole lot of setup. So this was, this was really great. So I wanted to do this because we're gonna use this setup as a basis for a lot of the things we do going forward. My current website is not using Tailwind. Um, it is actually using just plain CSS and I wanna move it over to Tailwind. So as I'm moving it over to Next3, this will be a good time to move to Tailwind. 
And so this is really the kind of start of that. Uh, we'll start to build out some new features and just take a look at some features in Next3, uh, but then also do some videos on just how I'm kind of transitioning the content and the look and feel over to Next3. So again, uh, I think the best thing to do is check out the repo. Uh, again, the, the link for this will be in the description below. Um, you can do one of two things. You can just code this and hey, you're ready to go. You don't have to do anything or go ahead and follow along with these steps and you should be able to create a project just like I did. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Also, if you are getting started with Nuxt3, again, I'm really new to Nuxt. Uh, I've never used Nuxt2. Nuxt3 is my first kind of jump into Nuxt. If you're new with Next, um, let me know below how you're liking it. What are some of your favorite features? And let me know if you're a Tailwind fan too. I know not everybody is, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of Tailwind. So interested to see who else is using Next 3 with Tailwind 3. So I think with that, we'll go ahead and end it. If you did find some value in this video though, please feel free to give me a thumbs up there. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any further videos. And as always, friends. Happy coding.